and so I'm over here crying my eyes out while reading it off the paper. And then she she's like, try and read it without the paper. I'm like, I don't know it, so of course I can't. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Studio Scoop. Apparently, we copied it from Universal Studios, but it's okay because it's not trademarked. So welcome to the fifth episode. I have with me Kelly Choi Vlogs, and I am Tech Taro. Today, we have another episode. We got some topics, and we're going to talk about them. What can I say? We can jump straight into it. Uh, but first of all, let me just say that... Um, I had uh, about 50 minutes of technical difficulties while trying to set up this recording. So whoever's watching this right now, be grateful. Because I spent so long trying to take care of the stupid technical issues. My computer turned off, my monitor turned off, my display adapters weren't working. I was getting errors after errors. I was upset. I was literally texting Kelly. I'm like, I'm upset. I'm angry. But it's okay. You're doing great. Everything <laughs> worked out. Great. Everything worked out in the end. So we're totally fine. But yeah, Kels, how are you doing on this swell um, day? <laughs> I'm doing good. Just did some errands and um, and yeah, and, and then recording this podcast. How about you? Let's freaking go. You know, just uh, dentist appointments and, uh, you know, nothing really too special. Except for this podcast, of course, which is the most special thing in the world. And if you're not watching this, you're not doing anything productive with your life. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> no, no, I don't know about that. Speaking don't of great... Don't listen to this guy. Speaking of great things, Kelly had her, I think, her first... Uh, I think it was after the last episode that whatever was recorded. She had her first stream on Twitch. I did. I think it turned it out pretty a, good. Yeah. It, yeah, it really did. I did because... I didn't think I'd have so many viewers in the beginning, but it kind of just stayed like that until the end. Like a, a lot of people liked it. I had a blast. I'm going to stream actually today and it's going to be my third stream. And so it's, She's on it's, fire. Actually really, <laughs> it's actually really fun. And if you're not streaming, I think you should give it a try because it's fun and it'll boost your like confidence and so. Yeah, to get yourself out there. But yeah, I'm officially a streamer now. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Let me just say, for for those of you that are listening right now, I was right, okay? I told Kelly for a year, probably more than that, stream. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's very cool. And then Kelly told me, she's like, it's so much fun. Why didn't I do it before? And I'm like, I freaking hate you. But good job. You are enjoying yourself now. That's fantastic. So yeah, kids, if you ever want to stream, just go and do it. You never know what'll happen. You'll be having fun regardless. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't have sexist people in your yes. chat. But that's why we have mods. That's why we have mods. Mods are the backbone of Twitch, genuinely. So mm -hmm. shout out to all the mods out there. Godspeed. Godspeed. Oh man. Yeah. So do you have yeah. any other plans for like other like stream content in the future? Or are you not sure yet? I do want to invite some of my friends onto my streams when I play games because I will be playing games and so um I do want to invite them and uh I'll probably do a lot of like chatting and gaming and then might do some like study type with me and so you can just sit there and like do work while I do something like and so that's what I have in mind so far but if you guys have any suggestions, I will be sure to take them. <laughs> oh yeah, make sure to um check her out whenever it is whenever she's live, twitch.tv slash kchoy06. Um yes. it used to be in Kelly, but she did change her branding. <laughs> it used to it did change. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Streaming is very fun. You should get into it speaking of streaming being fun the streamer awards happened early march i believe early march uh, yeah so, i think so yeah early march this is being recorded on the 24th so it's been a good bit since the streamer awards but we have look man our is our recording sessions consistent for this podcast not at all so now we're talking about it i watched most of it live from my phone when we were on the way to universal studios on um 
twitch.tv slash cutie cinderella it was really fun i enjoyed it i think it was produced beautifully and it made the oscars and grammys and all of those award shows look like a joke genuinely Honestly, and it was yeah. produced very well i love i loved all the awards and all like the people that were there it was just a very fun experience at least to watch i bet it would be even better if you were in person for it which Honestly, I do want to go someday. Probably when I am an actual streamer, I want to go. But it's a very, it's a very interesting experience. I don't know how much you watched of it, Kelly, but I loved it a lot. I watched a little bit, um, because it popped. Because I happened to be on Twitch, and uh, it happened to just pop up, and so I was like, "Oh, I'll just watch it." And I will say, everyone that was dressed up for that event, uh, that event was so so nice and it was just so like just pleasant to see and watch because it just shows how much time and effort went into that whole event and just to see everyone there is so it's just so fun and yeah were you there for a lot of the like did you watch a good bit of the awards actually being like announced or no Mm -hmm. i did because I just had it on my phone, and so if, even if I had to do something, I just watched it on my phone. Which one's your um your favorite? Which one was your favorite award that was announced? And you like your favorite winner or something? Uh, oh goodness, I had a lot to do with this past. Year. Pokemon giving out an award. Forgot Probably Legacy Award. Was. I think I know who it was. Think, it Germa? Yeah. Yes, yes, Germa. yes. Yep. It was, that makes sense. Um, but didn't Toast win something? Or No, he announced the winner for the Strategy he Game announced. Award. Okay. I mean, I don't really know if uh, watching anime and um, doing that is uh, really a strategy <laughs> game. He hasn't been doing that much in the past year, so... But he's really well known, so he is. Now, that's probably why they got him to announce the award. To be honest, mm-hmm. yeah. But yeah, um, I think... any of you liked any nominees or? What? Um, I, I do also want to talk about the Kaide thing. But first, I'm gonna go through the positive notes about like the good awards. I really liked uh, what is it? Well, obviously, Kaide deserved the Valorant award. Like she streams it consistently. And has really fun, entertaining content. I watch her Valorant clips a lot. And they're really good. It's really good content. Um, I really liked Quackity getting the DS the Minecraft award. That one's really cool. I do like I don't watch them too I don't watch Minecraft itself too much, but I like Quackity's videos, so I think it's really well deserved. Um and then there are other ones. I think Boxbox got strategy game streamer. Those top three, I was like, okay, those make absolute sense until you get it. Most of the other streamers I didn't really know too well. Except for offline TV winning content organization. That one, I'm like, they deserved it since like the first streamer awards. But I guess in the first streamer awards, they labeled the award as streamer organization. And offline TV only streamed once. So that makes sense. But content org, definitely offline TV. Those four awards definitely 100% deserved. And really, they were were good. The rest of them, like, you know, I, I know the streamers a bit. So they could have deserved it, could have not. I don't watch them too much. But we're not going to see a Valorant category next year. Wait, we're not? No. Do you know why? Why? So when Kaide got the award for Valorant Streamer of the Year, she got a lot of hate mm-hmm. online about her getting it. Saying like, oh, like, I don't know if you know Tarek, another Valorant Streamer. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. They were keep saying, oh, Tarek should have deserved it. Tarek should have gotten it. You can't get it. And... Mm. Kaide actually reached out privately to Cutie Cinderella after the show saying like, hey, like, can you, can you not? Like, I'm sorry, that sounds really passive aggressive. No, she didn't say that. She didn't say that. But <laughs> Can you not do this to me? Can you not like, invite I me can't. and give me an award on your award show? <laughs> oh, fudge, what is it? But um, she told Cutie Cinderella, can you give the award to Tarek instead? for the Valorant streamer because she didn't want to deal with the hate that she was getting from everybody. And then so Cutie Cinderella said, I'm not going to make a Valorant award for next year. The community has shown that they don't deserve it, that they're too toxic and they don't deserve an award next year. Maybe years after that, but this year they've lost their 
privilege of having an award. And I'm like, damn, that makes sense. Like, that's so fr that's so freaked up. Even like I've a lot of people were saying that like Tarek would probably understand and be like, yeah, like she deserves the award. Even Tarek wasn't upset about it. So why is ever why are all these freaking parasitic pieces of crap getting angry on his behalf? Like, it kind of ruined. It just ruins that experience, really. Like, if I got an award and people were commenting online, they're like, oh, you didn't deserve it. I'd be pissed, really. Or and also really overwhelmed by the amount of negativity that would come out from getting an award that was voted on by the audience. It's not like freaking what is it? Um, what is it, the Oscars where there's like a council yeah. that vote on it? Oh yeah, yeah. It's either the Oscars or Grammys. I think, I, I think it's the Oscars. I think it's the Oscars. Yeah, and it was voted by the public, so it's not like it was rigged or anything because the public voted for it. Yeah, I don't know what gives. But yeah, that that's my take on that. So we're not gonna have a Valorant award next year. I personally love Valorant, but the community definitely fucked up in that regard. Mm -hmm. So they don't deserve it, and that's yeah, they're gonna have to learn, maybe become less toxic. But it's, it's Riot Games communities. What can you do, really? So yeah, yeah, I don't know. Just wanted to educate on that because some people don't know about it, and they're gonna wonder why there isn't a Valorant award next year. That's the reason why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because people ruined it, and so, yeah. If you were to win a streamer award, what award would you win? Do you think, like, if you were a streamer up there, it could be an award that already think... exists, or one that would be like invented newly in your generation. Maybe you inspire a freaking vlog stream army. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know what you Kelly Toy vloggers do. Oh my! <laughs> Maybe like something on the line of like creativity maybe or just something around like you know i don't i honestly don't know what do you mean by creativity it, do you mean like art um probably just the stuff that i not present uh present yeah because uh, mm. i feel like a lot like, of the content that streamers make are creative no so no yeah but i honestly don't know what award i would get that's fair and you don't need yeah. to know it I'm, i was just curious if you had an idea for it no yeah do you have an idea of what award you might get i feel like i do because i feel like i've thought about the prospect of me potentially getting a streamer award in like the long-term future so much i think it would be either just chatting because i i personally think my just chatting streams are the best I like the gaming ones the most, but just chatting, I don't know. I feel like I'm good at it. That's my personal opinion, but I feel like I'm good at it. <laughs> or, like, um, <clears throat> I would hope to be someone that, like, trailblazes new kinds of content, like live streaming. Like, I feel like I'm good at creative ideas and taking the steps towards it. So I feel like I'd get maybe, like, the charity event award, because I have done charity events in the past. And if I got bigger, I'd be able to make them better if that makes sense higher quality more production all that stuff so those two are the big ones maybe something outside the box like and you know it's being a little presumptuous but hopefully someday maybe legacy streamer hopefully that's long term very i'm not saying i would deserve it at all but that's just like a very small figment of my imagination all the way at the end of the cosmos being like there's a one percent chance that i get that someday one percent chance so I'll just Thank take you. it up on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What'd you say? You cut out? Yeah. I think you will. I hope. I hope. Some, just put someday. your mind to it. Someday, yeah. May not be now. Maybe later. But someday you will. I do like the purpose of the Streamer Awards itself. It's just to bring everyone together. Because I feel like everyone's just sitting on their ass at home streaming. And they don't actually get to connect with each other. So that's what Cutie said the reason was for making the award show. And I think it's really fun. And a lot of people enjoy it. So fingers crossed. Freaking 2025, 2026, maybe I'll be there. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Frick college, man. I hate college. <laughs> At the after party of the streamer awards, there was, I'm not, I'm trying to make, make this part short because it's not something I would probably talk about too much. But there was a streamer named Justin Minx who she, she has an alcohol problem. And she promised Cutie that she would not drink at the after party or she would not drink at the event. 
long story short, she drank. She had like a seizure, I believe. She had to get put into the hospital. And the whole party got canceled. Cutie was pissed. And a lot of people were like, at the end of the day, a lot of streamers were upset because the party was over when she put a lot of effort into it. And um, it just like a really, it's a sad thing because she needs, when people are addicted, they need that, they need the help. But Cutie said she tried everything. So it's, it's pretty scary what addiction can do, really. I don't know if you've had experiences with knowing anybody that have had addiction experiences. Have you? Um, I mean, I've had some. <laughs> You're like I'm addicted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had like I don't <laughs> like. I mean, I may have like I think one or two friends that are addicted, but like most of them are getting the help they need. But the others, like I know from just rumors being spread and then them talking about it but like me personally knowing someone is like probably one or two people but it's but they are getting the help that they need and That's good. they um are getting better at it but i did talk to them about what like how it started and then how it just progressed and then what they did and so the things that help them was to just finally understand what it's doing to them and getting the help they need and so it just it just showed that if you put the work into getting the help you will have a difference in your life and just that that little small detail of getting help can change someone's life around from getting an addiction to not an addiction so so if you have an addition, addition, addition. <laughs> if you have subtraction, you're a bitch. You have... <laughs> oh my! If you have an, addi... you know, just say the word for me. <laughs> if you have, uh, what word were you trying to say earlier? Could you repeat it? What word were you trying addiction? to say? Addiction. Oh, addiction. Hey, you said it okay. right that time. See, I evaded you in saying okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> Please uh... get some help that you need in order to live a long life because you will have stuff in your life that is meaningful and that you don't want to just throw it away because of just one small problem damn pop off you're, you're an addiction counselor now <laughs> holy shit damn you <laughs> i can <laughs> really say people, the word I don't are, you don't need to say the word it's just like you know you're just like you're like hey like it's okay they should get help because like, i like damn Ad addiction therapist right here if someone has an alcohol problem go to kelly no. <laughs> i'm kidding oh, do I not do not trauma <laughs> dump in anyone's chat do not rant about your addictions in anyone's chat unless they are okay with it but don't do it by default yeah but... <laughs> i'm not a licensed therapist so don't come to me <laughs> i mean the way you the way you sounded earlier seemed like you were a licensed therapist aye, aye, i don't know it, it seemed like it it really did i mean i can help you if you need help but like <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> just damn kidding it. just kidding just kidding i mean anyway money is cool but yeah i, I... take tips i'm not saying no to tips <laughs> <laughs> okay anyways yeah so <laughs> um what is it i think i also know someone like that not really a long story or anything it's just that it's concerning when like friends of that friend that are also my friends are saying like, I'm worried about being around this person when they're around alcohol because of the things they can do and the things they can like act as, which is concerning. That is very like, I don't care if you like, not don't care, but like if you're not hurting other people, it's not as bad. It's not like, I won't like force you to like do something about it. But if you're making other people uncomfortable with what you're doing, that's when I, I will have to step in. No, but yeah, they're not really sure. a close friend of mine, so it's not really in my jurisdiction to do that. But I've just like heard the stories, like heard people talking about it, and I'm like, that's I don't know, it's not a good idea. But you know, addiction doesn't sound like a fun word, anyways, unless it's with video games, and that's fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. Addiction to video games is also so bad, but that's a topic for another day. Another day. Yeah, that's 
that's for another day. Exactly. So our next topic is embarrassing childhood memory. I have one in mind. So, oh goodness, what grade? So I was probably in fifth, yeah, fifth grade. And I, in this class, we had to memorize these like really long poems. And I was just going through a lot that week when we were memorizing this. So I didn't really memorize it. Mm -hmm. And we had to like present this poem in front of the class. And it's not like a poem that's fairly easy, but long. It's one of these poems where like it's from like, it's like a president poem. So it's like really long. And it's not something that you would really fully know it and then be like oh i can present in the next day yeah it's it, for me it takes me a lot of time to actually memorize this really long poem that's not fun and so it came to my turn on to presenting it in front of the whole class and i started to have a panic attack because I've never been late to school. I've never been late to, like, turning in assignments. So I was, like, like a panicking that I didn't, like, memorize this whole thing. And I had to present it. And then I'm going to get, a, like, a zero. Yeah. And so the teacher saw me upset. And she brought me to her desk. And she wanted me to read the poem oh. with the paper on her desk and right next to her as she's like like kind of like holding like my arm like here like okay. and she's like holding me so like i'm not like too upset and i'm like you're making it worse yeah that, that's kind of weird <laughs> and so i'm over here <laughs> and so i'm like still bawling my eyes out and i'm reading it off the paper and then once i'm done she's like okay you can go back to your desk and so i ran to my desk and then i just put my head down and then i just like try to calm myself down but like everyone's oh staring gosh. at me and i'm like oh my god so i can't like i was like i did not calm down for like a good long time yeah. and like but i wasn't the only one that felt this way like there's a girl in front of me because it was like rose like so i was in the second like there's three rows so i was in second row and there's a row in front of me yeah and the girl that sat right in front of me had the same experience as me and so i'm like why if two people are already upset like this like why like make like either give us more time to memorize it or just just why give everybody a breakdown just yeah why would you do that <laughs> and so i felt better that i wasn't the only one that had this experience but at the same time i just felt embarrassed because i didn't know it and then i was crying in front of the whole class and my teacher still made me do it in front of the whole oh class gosh. and and everyone's like and so and the teacher was like Shh, be quiet so she can read i was like no don't be quiet <laughs> so yeah and and so i just oh my God. felt embarrassed throughout the whole day and i was like i I didn't want to do anything. I just, and so, and she blocked the whole day out just to do these presentations. And I was like, I, I can't. So I just put my head down and then like, just relax and try to calm down. But I was just more embarrassed than not knowing it. And so, yeah, that was, that was my embarrassing childhood memory. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. You're your yeah. teacher is something. Oh my gosh! Like I know she, I, I she probably had good intention during that, but no, she, yeah, she tried, but no, no, no. What? And like, <laughs> <laughs> like she had good intention. She wanted me to try, and so she can give me some points. But at the same time, I'm like, if you see a child like upset I'm and like bawling their eyes crying out. already, just give it a break. You never know what they're going through, and yeah. And, like, if you see another kid having the same thing of what the first student had, like, was going through, why still go through I sense a it? pattern here. <laughs> there, there must be something going on. The definition of insanity is doing the same it. thing over and over and expecting different results. And then yeah. there's college. You know, like, um, like where they show those posts where it shows, like, the exam paper and, like, the last step, the last, like, instruction is, like, no crying or something like that. Or, like, oh, you can cry yeah. but quietly. 
God. And then in, in college, when we're like, quote unquote, adults, they're just like, oh, yeah, you can, you can have a mental breakdown. But as long as you're quiet, you're fine. It's like, yeah. <laughs> God damn. We love suffering in school. Let's yeah, go. It was, it was rough. I yeah. I spent the whole time trying to think of the embarrassing thing, but <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I for I don't I feel like I don't get embarrassed too often. I feel like you know how I am when I'm in public. I don't really give a shit. Oh no! Yeah. I say what I want. I do what I want. If someone gives me a look, I'm just like, ha, loser, and I just don't think about it. But I think if I do have some embarrassing moments, but like, if I were to pick the one that's like the worst, I guess. Let me think. Uh, okay, I think I. I think okay. This isn't like one certain moment, but I get embarrassed when I don't remember someone's name when I really should. I definitely get embarrassed every time. Like there are some people that are like I. A lot of people know who I am. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Just they do. That's all I'm going to say. They do. And there are some people like sometimes I see them again at the gym or I see them in like my neighborhood or I see them in like a public place because, you know, I still live in the same general area. And when I do that, I sometimes see people like, oh, Froz, what's up? How have you been? And I'm like, hi. Um, what's your name? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm just like, oh, fudge. I'm just trying to, I don't know. In fact, my engineering teammate, like she, I should know her name. She's been my teammate for like the past two months. And I still am not sure what to call her. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah. Is yeah, she watching she... this stream? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, uh, my name is It's this. so bad. It's so bad. And that's like similar experience I have when I when I see people. I'm like, it feels awkward to say like, what's your name again? When they're definitely expecting you to know. And I'm like, fuck, hopefully someone, I, I see their name somehow. Like, I don't know. I just get like a miraculous moment. I understand. But I say that's the most embarrassed. I don't get embarrassed when I'm presenting. Even if if, if I'm going to do bad, I'm going to present like well. Even if it's bad, like to play fake confidence. That's what I try to do. If I'm doing something bad, I'm just like, you know, shit, like, all right, fuck it, I'll do it. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I think that's the biggest one. There's a lot of other parts where I've been generally embarrassed, but I feel like the big ones, I just don't remember too much because they're just not that common for me. This is me, though, yeah, so. Not too common, but the one that does happen happens a lot, which I'm trying to fix. But, you know, there's like, a lot. Of- it's like you keep asking questions and trying to get their name. And be like, yeah, what do you use for your, like, username on your social <laughs> media? <laughs> um, And then it doesn't say their name. Oh, can I get your email address? Can I get your email <laughs> Can I get your uh, your LinkedIn? Yeah, I was gonna say, can I get your LinkedIn information and be like, oh, that's the name. Can so how your... are you doing? Can I get your uh, ID card from where you work? Like you work at Costco. Can I get a picture of your Costco ID card? Can I get a picture of your can credit I get card? Your driver's can I get your credit card? Oh yeah, yeah. Fucking Christ. Can I can I get like a, a picture of a receipt that you've like used within the last like week? For no, for no purpose. I'm just, I'm just checking. I want to use the uh, few, the QR code to get points for Chipotle rewards. That's the reason why I want oh. the receipt, of course. Even though it's a, a Walmart. I feel receipt. like you go to a restaurant. What's the name under? <laughs> What's the name under? <laughs> What's the name under? Who, are, who is it? Who is it for? You look back at your romantic partner of five years. You look back. Hey, so what? What's the order for the partner? Tell them your name. I'm not going to speak for you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. Anyways. I'll try those next time. I'll ask for the LinkedIn. (laughs) So, I don't think I have any other embarrassing childhood memories that are interesting or to least, but... I'm ready to go to the other topic, yeah. if you are. Also, we already talked about the most embarrassing moment. That's all we need to talk about, you know? Mm-hmm, yeah. So, personality tests and how accurate they are. So, do uh, yes. you want to start it off? I, I'd say, I don't remember which personality. Do you know what the four di- uh, num- the four-digit thing is? Like, the four-character, like, code, like, ESFPJ or, like, INFT. Like, oh, not NFT. I know what you're 
I know, <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I did it but... very recently. I'm trying to find where I sent it to my friends, and I'm trying to find the screenshot where I sent it because I, I let me just say when I did take the personality test, I used 16personalities.com, whatever the hell it is. I took the test very quickly, to be honest, and one it changed because the last time I took it was two years ago, one two one two years ago, and. Whatever test I was getting back then, I think it was called the entertainer. I forgot what the code was. But I would be that for my like my entire life. Like I started taking the test in like seventh grade, and that personality type I had the exact same all the way until one or two years ago. And it's been like eight years. So it took me a long time. And I finally changed personality types. I'm trying to find it right now, but I don't know if you know what general personality type you are. I wanna say if I'm if I had to choose a personality type. No, Either, but do you remember which like, one you are? Like, did you take the test? I have not. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so I, but based on, like, other people's, like, like, not reacting, but, like. She's comparing herself to other people. Of, what an asshole. <laughs> oh my God, saying of, like, who I am to them. They say I'm, okay, like, yeah. entertaining because I make them laugh or I just have it, like, I'm entertaining are you but i get most of them are saying like i'm very like sweet and like caring and <laughs> and like i don't think you wouldn't say that <laughs> i care i care a, a lot and i just i just put that towards like other people and so i i tend to just i'm i'm just really nice in general <laughs> So I want to say those three are like the caring, kind, and nice. Well, kind and nice are like similar. So I want to say at least caring and like sweet. And so. Not a personality test, but, yeah. but all right. <laughs> Anyways, well, it's because I've never taken the test. And so Kelly, I'm disappointed. I'll take it you someday. put this on our topic list and you didn't even decide to prepare in advance for. I didn't put personality test. I feel like you did. No. Okay, we at least talked about it. We talked about it. And I, at least one of us said we were going to put it on this list. Don't worry. We'll update you guys in the future. If Kelly ever does her personality test, we're going to force <laughs> her to tell it on the podcast. And we're going to see how accurate it is. But yeah, I think all the things that you use to, that, that your friends use to describe you, they're, they're generally accurate. Jokes aside, she is a nice... She's a good person, unlike me. I am <laughs> a horrible person. <laughs> I was gonna say bad boy, but I'm not a boy. No, I don't know. About <laughs> <laughs> I am not. I mean, again, we don't know. I've told people about this before. We don't know what we don't know. There are indicators that show which one, potentially, unless you identify something different, which that is totally fine. But as someone that is cis, we don't know what's there as an indicator, and nor am I gonna find out. But I'm just saying the answer is ambiguous. That's all I'm gonna say. It's ambiguous. Whatever. Not confirmed. Not confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is oh. I am a ESFJ. I'm gonna read extroverted, observant, feeling, and judging. I feel like that's pretty accurate. I'm not gonna redo the whole thing, but I'll just read like the keywords of each. Building relationships that last. That I, I agree with that. Oh, it's on it's on separate tabs. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I'll just go through strengths and weaknesses. Strengths, strong practical skills, strong sense of duty, very loyal, sensitive and warm, good at connecting with others. I agree with all of those. A thousand percent. Most of them are like very, very dead on. Console weaknesses, worried about their social status, inflexible, reluctant to innovate or improvise, vulnerable to criticism, often too needy, too selfless. The first two, no. Everything else, yeah. It's true to a degree. I'd say so. But I definitely am flexible and I'm not worried about my social status as I am clearly shown in public doing Fortnite dances as a joke while there are like actual full grown adults watching me from the background and being like, this guy is the reason our generation will fall apart. But I'm in engineering, so I'm going to be building things up, not breaking things down. So freak you, Karen. Piece of crap. If whoever's named Karen watching this, you are a great person, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's why I said it. That's why I said it. Because after I said that, I'm like, oh my gosh, her mom is named that, and I'm going to get in trouble. I already have two strikes. I can't get a third one. 
<laughs> I will literally be executed. <laughs> you know what happens when you get a third strike with Kelly and her family? You freaking die, okay? You perish. No. <laughs> I can't let that happen. You vanish from this world. <laughs> I freaking... I vanish and no one sees me again. They're like, hey, what happened to a frost? And they're like, we don't talk about Tektaro. <laughs> Hey, you have a chance. You can edit this out. <laughs> that, that's that's true. I, I I can edit the whole thing out. I do have the control. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. personality tests are fun. So They're fun though. I like it. Yeah, I definitely have to take it. Yes, stream it on Twitch. Stream it later. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Really, it's not. It's not. Yeah, you can but try. Yeah, it. maybe. I think I have your uh, four four letter code though. B I T C, and I forgot the last one, but that's your code for your personality type. B I T C. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh! I should not have been that loud, but that was so funny. I'm sorry. I should not have been that loud, but goddamn, <laughs> you the realization. I was wondering if I was gonna have to no. tell you it. Because I no, I didn't hear the last one, so I was like, "Oh, uh, and so Bitcoin, Bitcoin, oh my God. NFTs, based crypto scam, bit mining." All right. Anyways, um, you're done. <laughs> Maybe that's strike four now. No, it's like, I wasn't even on strike three. I wasn't. We're editing this out. We're editing it out. I'm not on strike three or four. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. You like Fortnite? Jesus Christ, sir. <laughs> it is it is the topic. It is the topic. That is true. Fortnite creative. Would you like to explain Fortnite creative? Because I feel like you are more of an addict than I am. Um, so Fortnite creative is where you can like build your own game or just play games that are already built instead of just playing the actual just battle royale part. Um, like there is like death runs. I fucking fed, hate those. Like bed battles i think uh tag 1v1s or just like the floor is lava or something but you can just at least like play through those and um and just have fun in general like if you have like if you meet the requirements of um epic games that you want to build your own like do like custom games um you can do that after you do the requirements but there are things that you have to do and i I believe you have to be like 18 or older because you can't do it as a child just Uh, because of like legal terms and so yeah so i that's pretty much what fortnite creative is i play it a lot not a lot but like I do it for, like, XP, just if I can't, like, if the battle pass is ending soon, if I need some extra XP, I'll just do them if I don't want to do, like, a whole game, and so, yeah. How much money you spend on Fortnite, by the way? Like, this is, this one. want to Honestly, I bought the battle pass once in my life. Really? I've never once? had to use real money to buy it again, because... I would finish the battle pass and it'll give me a lot of Mm V-Bucks. And then I'll just use those V-Bucks to buy the battle pass again. So I've never had to buy it since. So you only bought it once. What does it cost the Mm -hmm. first time? Like 20 bucks, something like that? Yeah, I have only spent like 20 bucks. Okay. And so, yeah. Okay, that's fine. As long as you didn't spend your whole life savings on Fortnite, then I think you should be good to go. Okay, cool. I, I was expecting along the lines of 100 or like 200, to be honest. Uh, my parents would kill me if they <laughs> they knew I spent 100 bucks on a game. But you're making money now. So like it, it's in your choice. Like you could do that, you know. <laughs> it's in your choice. Yeah. I feel good about just being able to spend my own money. You know, it feels good. So you know what I'll do? I'll spend it on Fortnite V-Bucks. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I've never spent money on Fortnite and I'm proud of that. I haven't spent money on Valorant either. Which I am very proud of that as well, because I play Valorant all the time. So, yeah. Basically, I've never spent my money. I've gotten like a gift card from Nintendo, and then I used that, and it was like 25 bucks, and so I just used that. Oh, really? And then, yeah, so technically, I've never spent it with my own money. I've spent it on a gift card, and so... Damn. Like, as well, so, yeah. You're Fortnite sin-free. Yeah. Good shit, good shit. So, technically, <laughs> I've never spent 
a penny on Fortnite. So you're right. You spent twenty five dollars. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> gift card, gift card, not my gift oh, sorry, card. Oh, it's my gift card, but not. She bought it. She, I bought. Guys, she bought it for herself. She bought it for herself. She's trying to fake it. She bought it for herself. She labeled it to Kelly, from Kelly. <laughs> you know who bought it? Who bought it? I did? Yep. <laughs> oh, grad party? Mm-hmm. Yes, I remember it got, I got her a present for her grad party. So oh, you, you spent Over money. a year ago? Yeah, it was 2021. So almost two years. Mm-hmm. Wow, okay. Yes, then that, that, I do remember getting so that you card for you. Yes, yes. Money. That was a gift, okay? I didn't know you were going to use it on such a heinous ca uh, cause. Well, that was the only one I could do. You should have bought Among Us on Switch. Next topic. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> My camera's out of focus. Hello. Audio listeners are like, ha, huh, idiots. Does Apple Music even play video? I don't know. Because I know Spotify plays video now. I mean, I think I think you can. Because yeah. Spotify's better. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, maybe Apple Music can play video. I don't know. But all I know is but Spotify. I'm can. I'm having some issues with Apple Music. Right oh now. yeah, they're having a legal a legal uh, not legal, but they're just having issues. So, Spotify no, gang. It's, no, it's they're just not. You know, let me just fight this battle my own <laughs> for this podcast. Right, I got you. No, I got you. You're, you're fighting. You're fighting the good fight. I appreciate it. Independent woman beating up yeah, yeah, legal yeah. corporations like Apple. <laughs> <laughs> she's like give my uncle an apple an apple device for free or so or else i will hack into your mainframe and i will steal all the data from your company and i will put you guys bank in bankruptcy <laughs> okay oh i love this too big of an age gap for me age gaps i want to say at least either as old as me oh sorry <laughs> either as old as me or just two years older or a year older three is the max <laughs> sorry three, year, three I is the max don't, <laughs> i don't want to be with someone that is younger at least by three years because i've always just had this in my mind because me and my brother are two years apart, and if I'm like uh, yeah. saying I'm dating someone like three years, it's like I'm basically dating my brother's friends. Like I like because they're they'd be like around that age, or like if I like I mean two years is fine, but it's still a little bit weird. But like a year a year is totally okay. But if I'm like dating someone that are like two years or younger, is mm -hmm. dating one of his friends. But not technically his friends, but it's just it's just weird to think about. Like it's the age and of so, someone that would be his friend. Like that that general yeah. age age range, yeah. Yeah. And so I'd rather just have someone at least the same age as me or at least a year or two years, but three is like the absolute max because I don't want I don't want to see like uh if I do get married, I don't want to be too long of a gap saying, Oh, I'm turning Say I'm turning 25 and my husband's turning like 20, uh, 30 already. I'm like, oh. Oh, so that rule still applies. That that rule still applies for even if they're older than you. It's because I think if they're just too older, too like older than me, I yeah. don't. They don't really want to go and do stuff, and so it's just easier to have someone around the same age as you, and then you can like live your life oh yeah instead of just going home and lounging makes sense That's but fair. yeah three is max <laughs> it's funny that you said the thing about like oh they're five years older than me that's bad i feel like mine will be five max oh. i think it'll be five yeah not really a special reason i kind of just pulled a number out of my ass really and called it a day but I feel like if there's like a con uh, connection that's like outside of that range, I feel like I I just deal with it then. Think about it. But general blueprints of it, five years probably. Anything more than yeah. that, I'll be like, well, let's just make sure that this is actually going to work. And if it does, yeah. then maybe I'll look into it. But if not, eh, it's not worth it. Yeah. 
I just uh, I think I was I think I brought up this topic before not not like to actually discuss it but just like I believe I told you about Michael Reeves and how his parents are like 20 mm-hmm. years apart yeah that's crazy I can't I can't 20 his, is a lot his dad's like 68 and his mom's like 40 something like low 40s mm-hmm. dude Mr. Reeves got riz god damn <laughs> he pulling, yeah. he pulling the young girls god damn not minor minors okay they're very legal but she is pulling the younger women. Pop off, King. Let's go. He has technique. He's got Riz. <laughs> He's got... It has to happen of who you meet. And so, yeah. like, if, if it's, like, an actual genuine good person, <laughs> then maybe it's not so bad to judge it off the age. But... You go up to them and then you're like, hey, like, I know, like, we really are compatible. We're close. We understand each other. We're there for each other. We do everything best. The problem is you're a little too, you're like one year older than my range cap. <laughs> I'm 24 and you're 28. And that goes outside my three year range of 27. So I think I'm just gonna have to cut you off, cut you off on all socials, never talk to you again. Yeah. Oh my God. Frick you. You suck. <laughs> No, but Should yeah. have been younger, I, old frick. <laughs> I just, I just like them to be around the age I am. That's fair. That's very fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we uh, we're getting near the end of the podcast, so I think we, we can are. go to our Q and A section that you can. We can. By the way, you guys can send your answers via commenting down below in whatever YouTube video this is, or. The contact you on like in general like social media of either of us i'll put the links for both of our socials i think this is yeah this is my video we're gonna put i'll put the links for both socials in the description for youtube and if you if you're not youtube you can find us on other socials and then give us ideas and we'll we'll check them out we'll check them out mm-hmm. so yeah and like you can post your comments in like previous podcasts episodes. it could be anonymous too it could be anonymous yep. so you don't have to put your name out there you can just ask something just don't be weird don't be in, don't be weird if you're weird don't then we're just gonna ignore the question and yeah and move on okay just be a decent human being is that hard to ask i don't think it is so you got it you got yep. it yep it's fine and i'll check my instagram dms if you want to okay, yeah you, you should be there. careful about yours because the army of sims yeah. so just be very careful like, you, you might you, you might as well have moderators in your instagram dms at this point <laughs> being like oh weird weird guy weird guy <laughs> just get him out of here <laughs> anyways question so yes. uh this person wants to stay anonymous yeah freak you and but <laughs> but they they asked how did we get into podcasts and why? Do you have an so, answer first? You want to go? Sure. All right. So, how I I think we kind of described what got us interested in podcasts in a previous episode, mm-hmm. but let me just recap. Um, so in my film class in high school, we did a couple podcast episodes for like school assignments and so as i'm doing those i got the interest in doing podcasts and i just ended up really enjoying recording and just talking and then um and then me and then afraz and i were talking about doing a podcast together and i was thinking oh that would be so much fun it would just it was just because we can engage with the audience and like just have fun in general and so as we're doing this i feel like i'm getting a lot more out into the influence world <laughs> and <laughs> god and she said the word that's I... <laughs> so bad she said influencer oh no she's like the streaming thing gets your head fuck man why oh. And so I just generally I like doing podcasts because it just made me be more out there and be more confident. And because if you're just doing videos, it's different and you can't really like. Yeah, you're a coward if you do videos. (laughs) Keep going. (laughs) But like, if you have a podcast with uh, with someone else, you can talk to them at that moment and then just bounce off ideas because when we do our topics we bounce it off of each other and then 
clarify with each other if we have any questions or just comments about them. So I just like working together in general and just having a joint podcast instead of just having just a solo podcast because it's a little bit more difficult because then you can you need to like find other people to like kind of guest star in them but it's you can make it work but i just like having a joint because then we can just bounce off it's easier to yeah it's easier to bounce off that goes kind of sorry for interrupting by the way but it's easier to bounce off topics and like segue into different subjects if you have multiple people Especially because some people say going different yeah. in different methods. But I would say I like it. I think it's has to do with what I said earlier about me being good at just chatting. A lot of times I don't want to get big from just chatting. I don't know. Like I just don't want to just go live and just chat. I can do that and it's fun sometimes. But I've you know, the main reason I got into it was to play games and like give commentary and stuff on it. So I wanted a way to like be able to have oh oh yes. Another another thing. I am a ho- I hate boring conversations. If you're boring to me when we're texting, I'm going to not want to answer as much. Like very like dry responses, like very like l- like lagging like reactions or anything like that. Like I'm not saying you have to be like all over the walls and like popping back and forth and like as if you were on a freaking like five cans of freaking Red Bull. But at least show some energy like okay yeah like i'm texting you and i'm not a freaking robot or ai okay like as long as you're not that then you're fine but a lot of people act like that and they're just like oh, oh like okay like i don't know like not all people that say okay are bad but what i'm trying to say is that generally like they don't show really enthusiasm or energy in the slightest all the time if it's sometimes that's fine but i just am very bored by that and so when i'm in calls as well I like conversations that are in depth where you talk about subjects that people won't normally talk about. Like we talked about addiction today. I wouldn't really go up to Kelly in public and be like, so let's talk about addiction, Kelly. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Well, knowing me, like I might, I might, but less likely than on this podcast. I could talk about whatever I want. Not of course with a filter, but I could talk about more things that I want to talk about and I can have more insightful conversations getting into like the nitty gritty of it. Because some people, like, they, when they want, they, when they converse, they just want to have a good time. They just don't want, they don't want to talk, like, insightful conversations. They just want to chat. That's fine. I just like insightful conversations a lot more. So this podcast only fit my interest. I had a podcast, two podcasts before, actually. And I think I learned a lot from the, the, re, the ways they went wrong. But me and Kelly, I looked at, we both talked about the idea. And I'm like... We can make this work. And if we do it together, sure. I think we can do it really well. Mm-hmm. And that we'll, we're both very driven for it. That's why I kind of, I, you know, I went into it. And so far, I haven't wanted to kill anyone yet. So hopefully that stays the same. And I don't, we, we're not like at the point where I'm recording an episode and I'm like ripping my hair out. So for now, it's going great. It's going fantastic right now. And I enjoy it a lot. I don't know about you, Kels, but I enjoy it. It's good shit. No, yeah, I've I've enjoyed every episode that we've done so far because to me, I think we both have similar working styles and just how we want to make things happen. And so it it's easier when that works out and then we can just, just you yeah. Man, we're both fucking workaholics. Is that what you're trying to say? We're both workaholics. Is that what you're trying to say? No. We're people that are working and doing college and like doing content on the side, like freaking the 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 freaking holy trio of freaking not having any free time oh and i guess there's jim also but i don't know have you sorry let me collect my english (laughs) have you been going to the gym recently like did you like come back to it yet or are you still do you think of coming back to it later or at all I have not just because this week has been so crazy for me. Yeah. And so I I probably will come back either like probably after midterms. Oh yeah. So we should definitely go yeah. again soon. That'd be really fun. Yes. Mm-hmm. I I went back like 3 days ago, like 4 days ago, and I worked out for like 2 3 days and my body was so sore after that. I felt like I wanted to die. I would like reach out for like my bottle right here and I would like my arm would paralyze. I'm like Aah! It's so bad. But now I'm better. <laughs> Now my my joints are all good. I worked out today. 
with my friend abs and core and i did not want to die after so hey we're on the right track i'm getting back to it so you've been doing like some like like yoga and stretching and at home and so it's not like i haven't just been like not working like i we have some weights at the house and so i've been just doing those okay but it's not like i have every like equipment from the gym at my house and so at least i'm doing something to not just not doing it anything at all it's impressive that you could do a lot with dumbbells like there's so many exercises for dumbbells like back and biceps chest and triceps freaking um even legs also you could just do weighted lunges weighted squats all of those work out really well a Mm -hmm. lot you could do with dumbbells and i didn't really realize it until i looked it up a bit ago and i'm like oh shit yeah it's there's a lot of potential for dumbbells so if you guys want to work out don't don't make the excuse that you don't have a gym just get two dumbbells Mm -hmm. and just go at it you can do a lot more than you think just search it up on google yep and they're not too expensive so you can you can do it if you put the effort and motivation i think it's also one good investment i know we're about to we're kind of short on the podcast but really quick just gonna say i think our not i think i know our house has the ones where like it has like all the weighted plates you can like hit a knob and then like switch it so you can choose which weight it is so like yeah 15 pounds pull it 15 pounds put it back set it 25 pounds pull it out so you can have that as a one and uh i go one weight that's like you can pull any kind of weight and you don't need to buy a bunch of separate dumbbells. You could just buy that one. I think it's a little more expensive than a normal one, obviously. But it's worth it. You literally have all kinds of dumbbells at your house to work out. So if you guys are ever getting into fitness or working out, I highly encourage you do. Or if you want to get into fitness in general, I think me and Kelly know a lot about it. If you ever want to ask us about fitness tips or fitness dick in your mouth, then make sure to message us or contact us on via comments on YouTube channel. <laughs> and I think with that being said, I think... I think we're done with the episode. I just want to end it off on a, yes, we are. On a good note. End off on a good note, right? <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this episode yes, of the podcast you. or listening, whatever you did. I don't know what platform we have that you would even just listen. But regardless, thank you for enjoying the podcast. Let us know of any ideas of questions or topics like to discuss. Comment down below anything you want. Just comment something. Maybe Kelly's cringe. Maybe Taro's cringe. Who knows? whatever you want anyways we'll see you all in the next episode bye bye bye